Hello, my name is Vladislav and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can scale a design for every screen size, every device size, programmatically. Uh, there are many ways you can scale it and mainly you can use the resources folder to do so. But I want to show you a different way how we can do it programmatically. I'm going to show you first the difference uh, that we have without scaling and when scaling with code. Uh, what I have here now is a simple project, only one activity, a simple XML file, which consists of one image view and two buttons. And the design looks like this. And I got this from here, uh, from a Figma project. It's just a sample project. Uh, you can, I'm not sure if you're, if you're familiar with Figma, but it's like, uh, place you can Im import your designs and then you can check the specific components on the right side like the width, the height, the uh, the elements that uh, your designs consist of. So I just got from here the background and the two buttons with the specific sizes and I'm going to show you on the screen a couple of different resolutions so you can see without programmatically only with uh, this XML file what it looks like on different screens and as you can see here for example the buttons the width of the button is 167 uh, density pixels and in here the the width is 167 so everything that they put inside the XML file uh, the paddings the margins uh, whatever it is also it's the same in the design here so I'm going to show you how you can integrate this design exactly the same as it is here to look exactly the same on every other, other device. And now let me show you how we can do scaling programmatically. What we need here is the design width and height and these are the design width and height from the design we're taking we're looking at. Uh, for example, in the project I have here, as I said, I'm using Figma. In the project I have here, when I select the full view, as you can see, the width and height of the view of the full design are 375 by, by 812. So I'm using those values here as my main values. So the, the, the full width of the screen is 375 and the full height is 812. So what we do from then is we check every component with the height as they are in the, in the design. Because if you are a developer and the designer gives you a file, you, of course, you want to do it exactly pixel perfect. And that's what we're trying to do here. So we're taking every value, like the width, like the height, like the margins and paddings from here, and just putting them in our code. Uh, what I'm doing here is a simple calculation. We have those two functions, which are calculating the density pixel height. So uh, we're using display metrics to get our current device. We're using the project on, like in, we, we install like the project or it, in the emulator, it doesn't matter where it is. We just get the device height and the device width. And then we multiply it by the value which value represents, for example, if we if we check the button here and we want to set the width of the button programmatically, we check the value width, which is 167, and we set this uh, 167 as the value. And the value is divided by the design width variable, which is the full width of the design component, which we get from here. And by this way, by doing it this way, we're getting the exact width and height that we need for the device we actually installed the, uh, for the device we're using. So it doesn't matter if it's your, uh, if it's 240 but by 320 or uh, whatever resolution it is, it will scale like it should. And it's not a, it's not a hard task, it's very simple. I mean, you can maybe do it with XML and you can do it with only XML, but I prefer this way because I think it's way easier. 
So I'm going to show you on the screen now the difference between the two styles without uh, using uh, programmatically and with programmatically and I'm going to compare them. So that was it guys. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you have any questions, ask below and see you next time.